In this video, I think I'm going to share with you guys the easiest way to beat man, easiest way to beat Sin 6, easiest way to beat the Blitz and beat man at the same time in the game. Uh, it's really simple, and I don't want you to overthink it at all. Um, so, uh, we're going to be in gun tight today. Now, uh, gun tight is really good. Um, gun tight is really good. It's really good to audible into. If you are running Detroit or you're running Washington, uh, those are really, really good gun tight playbooks. Uh, so, we're going to keep it as simple as we can today. We're going to be talking about bench. If you want to get my full gun tight offensive ebook, um, I'm actually updating what I've got so far, but we have a really good start with what we put in our Washington offensive ebook. Our Washington offensive ebook, which is what I'm in today, um, the link to sign up for the Patreon is in the description. Patreon members get access to all ebooks and all updates. So if you want to get my gun tight stuff, link is in the description. Ten bucks gets you access to all of our ebooks. We got 13 offensive and defensive ebooks available. So, gun tight. Why is it so good? It's good for a lot of reasons, but one of the things that makes it so good is this play bench. Uh, bench is incredibly effective. So, um, we want our best player. We want our best uh, route runner in this position here. And then the rest of the dudes really honestly don't matter if you have a good tight end. I'm going to put in Otten. I think he's faster than Rudolph. Um, but anyway, bench. Easiest way to beat the Blitz in the game. Easiest way to beat the Blitz in the game what you want to do is you want your running back to be on the short side of the field okay you want your running back to be on the short side of the field that's really really important so we're going to respot the ball so that our running back is on the short side of the field okay all you're going to do for setup is you're going to wheel your running back and then you are going to <coughs> excuse me essentially motion block mike evans so Will you running back motion block this guy? And what you'll see is this corner route to the left is going to cook man to man. Now, how are they going to adjust to this, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked how they're going to adjust to this. The first thing they're going to do is they're going to take that outside cornerback and they're going to put him on an outside third. And this is why bench is so important. We want our running back to the short side because if they play a traditional cover three, this wheel route will actually pull a third, which I'll show you in just a second. But the other reason why this is so good is because if they outside third, I can throw this quick out and be able to attack them. They run out of players to put in coverage. That's the beauty of this. So uh, I'm going to actually grab Spinner or 146's variation um, of Spinner, which is DB Sting. And we're going to run through this together again. So uh, what I like to do from an actual pass protection strategy is they have to, like when you motion a receiver, especially if you motion them all the way across, like they kind of have to respect that. So um, what they're going to do is this guy right here is probably going to be their user, okay? Now, this chances are this defender right here, they might blitz him. Another thing that's pretty common is, is they're going to put him in a hard flat, okay, to try to help with that out route on the right. So just kind of imagine that, and then again, they're going to be using here. When we go with this motion, we're going to slide protect to the right, and then we're going to motion block this guy across the formation. And what you'll see is this quick throw to the back is really, really good at beating the, the defense because they have to shoot to the flat to go guard this. So their user has to be on the back and he has to be on him quick which is going to then mess up their hover which is going to then in turn mess up their pressure so they're going to have to be so worried about going and guarding this little quick throw wheel okay that i am now going to be able to throw my corner to to that guy right there now again if you have dave casper or if you have jeremy shockey even if you have tony gonzalez gonzalez honestly um you're going to be able to basically bag or um, you're gonna be able to basically hit this corner so again you just motion this guy over snap him right about here and then you're gonna be throwing that corner to Otten okay um, really 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 simple another thing you can do if you want to max protect um, is you could just do this right here you could literally just motion block this guy pick up the blitz and then be able to throw your corner routes okay um, but the other thing I wanted to get into real quick is this uh, left side. So if they third out here, uh, how you can combat that. And then we'll talk about the third on the right. So 
what you'll see here is this quick out is going to get open even if they hard flat. Um, it's a little bit of a – that was a little bit of a bad example. Julio Jones, honestly, is pretty freaking slow this year for whatever reason. Um, he's normally going to get a little bit better separation than that. So, anyway, we'll just ID this corner. Motion block. You can block this guy when he comes across if you want. Uh, do it that way. But you'll see – that out route was wide open, and then the, the corner route, of course, was wide open. So that's a simple way. A lot of times they're going to base a line, too, by the way. So you're going to get some interesting um, – it's just going to be – I'm telling you, it's going to be interesting how they're going to play this. But, you know, they have to run with the running back quick. So because they have to run with the running back quick, their hover is going to be pretty – like it's not going to be super effective. You know, So as soon as you motion this Mike Evans, you can put him on a block. And then he's going to come out here and block. And then you can throw that on a hard flat. That out hard flat, when the hard flat's coming from inside, it's not really that good of a zone. Okay? Now, uh, next thing I want to show you is what if they zone out, you might ask. So what if they play cover three on the right? Um, you know, and again, they zone out. So if they zone out of this, um, you'll see that this, this wheel to the back is really, really good. Uh, so what you'll see here is that outside third is not going to play the corner late, okay? That wheel route to your running back is not only a really good quick throw, but if they run a defense that looks, you know, somewhat like this, which is very popular, you know, maybe they do something like this on the left, okay? Um, you can throw your out routes, basically. So you can throw your out route, you can throw your running back wheel uh, quick, um, but the other thing that you can do is you can throw that corner route to the tight end um, as soon as the running back kind of gets into a position. So if they bail out in cover four or if they bail out in like a cover three, which is fairly common. Again, it's fairly common in this in this defense um, that they're going to try to show pressure. They see you can start to beat it. So now they're going to go back off into coverage. And you see how open that corner is when you run it to the short side of the field. The running back wheel is perfect for that. Okay, another thing that's really simple that you can do is just block your running back and just run it like this. Um, this is pretty good as well. These little out routes, especially if you have short and elite, they're really good because they have to hard flat on both sides, which means they're only going to be able to send five. And then, you know, these, these hard flats aren't really that good. Okay, obviously I'm sending, I think I'm sending, what am I sending, seven? Um, so, you know, they're going to be in a position where this guy is not going to blitz. This guy's probably going to be in a zone, you know, something like this. And then you come back and go with a setup like this, just block the running back. And then your corner route on the left is, you know, wide open. So, you know, I wouldn't overthink it. You know, another simple thing, uh, another simple thing you could do is if you want to run bench to the right side, um, you know, you could do something like, Block your running back, motion this guy in, and then you're able to pick up the pressure. You see how good that corner route is on the left side, though? That corner route pretty much never gets guarded um, unless they put a third. And if they put a third, it's going to be really hard for them to stop this out route. So, again, there's a third. Um, we'll just show. Maybe I'll slide. I'll try this slide protection against, against um, Dollar. But you see that hard flat doesn't do anything. Uh, when it comes from interior and that's that's the beauty of bench so again this is a really simple play but it really is good against man and it's really good against the blitz and you can block different people to keep them on their guard so like i could run this right here um if i wanted to so i have bench one side and then i have that the other side right and then i have my quick reads um, another thing i could do if i wanted to is i could uh, like i showed you i could wheel the back and then we could go ahead and block motion block this guy in. Now we have a quick throw to the back out there. It's going to be really hard for them to have to use her. Okay, so there's a lot you can do with compression this year. But it really does all start um, with this corner route on the left and how good this corner route really is. The ability to freeform that to the outside is going to open up everything else for your offense. Thanks for watching the video. Real simple uh, breakdown on bench and how to leverage the power of the hash marks as well as the running back and motion blocking and all those things to make it one of the most difficult plays to guard if your opponent is going to blitz you. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire Washington offensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. Link is in the description below. $10 gets you access to all ebooks and all updates.
Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.